Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be covering some of the coolest agricultural giants on the market and seeing how they perform. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and comment about your favorite machine. Mularski Group is a Polish family-owned business that cultivates and sells vegetable seedlings and vegetables. They've been in business since 1976 and have a reputation for producing high-quality, chemical-free products. Under the Mularski trademark, they offer a variety of tomatoes, cucumbers, and radishes. Here, they're cultivating radishes, a rapid-growing crop that can be harvested as soon as three weeks after planting. Radishes are harvested by separating them from their foliage and putting them straight up. They are then cleansed, and their leaves and roots are removed. For all of this, Malarski Group relies on its experienced staff and cutting-edge technology. MH Plant Machines is a UK-based company that offers a wide range of new and used plant equipment and machinery. Here a bulb planter from this company is in action. Bulbs are planted in flower fields. The planting time and depth of bulbs depend on the type and flowering season of the bulb. Generally, spring flowering bulbs are planted in autumn and summer flowering bulbs are sown in spring. They need a sunny spot and well-drained soil. The bulb planter is filled up with bulbs which plant daffodils. It drives over the field, puts away the soil, drops the bulb plants into the ground, and puts the ground soil back over the bulbs again. Next, we have the three-bed onion windrower from ASA Lift. This machine can harvest three rows of onions in one go. It deposits onion on the ground for curing. The working width of this machine is 78.7 inches and it can be driven by a tractor via a PTO shaft. The windrower has two webs and a shaker to separate the onions from the soil and leaves. It also has rotating discs and rubber paddles to lift the onions onto the nets. The machine can reduce the workload of three tractors and three men to only one. In short, this machine offers efficient wind drawing, reliability, and low running costs. Up next, we have the ASA Lift CM1000C. It's a single-row, mounted harvester with an integrated box-filling system. It can harvest carrots, red beet, parsnips, and other root crops. The harvester has a sturdy main frame and can operate under heavy conditions. Its top lifting system has a unique floating drive system that lifts the crop and cuts off the haul. It can be used with a tractor, and via the machine it has a working width of about 3 feet, and a tractor attachment of lower linkage category 3N1. The box filling system allows for non-stop unloading with maximum crop protection. 
The machine also has other features, including electric speed control, automatic depth control, automatic greasing system, hydraulic wheel drive, and wireless remote system. Next, we have the ASA Lift SP460 BEH. It's a self-propelled carrot harvester that can harvest two rows of carrots at a time. It has a bunker capacity of 13,228 pounds and a modular design that allows for customization according to customer needs. The harvester can be equipped with different engines, wheels or rubber tracks, and cab positions. In short, this carrot harvester is a versatile and efficient machine for carrot harvesting. Up next, we have the Telehawk T2. It's a hydraulic bale spreader that can handle both round and rectangular bales of straw. It can be hitched up to any telehandler in seconds and has a rotating swivel chute that can deliver straw to either side or in front of the machine. The Telehawk T2 can spread straw up to 44 feet in bedding areas, saving straw and improving animal comfort. It has a slimline wireless Bluetooth control and an adjustable pressure sensing system for easy operation and maintenance. The machine measures 8 feet 3 inches tall, 5 feet 6 inches wide, and weighs about 2,800 pounds without brackets. It can handle bales with a maximum diameter of 5 feet. Next. We have the Garlic Planter from Kangnong Co. Ltd. This machine was designed to plant garlic cloves or bulbs. Garlic seeds in the form of paper and thread are fed into the machine. Then garlic seeds are wrapped in paper and threaded tightly at equal intervals. The Kangnong Garlic Planter does every planting step in a single go. It cultivates the soil with its rotavator and lays strings of garlic under the ground. It buries at a desired depth and spacing. Mulching and covering are also performed simultaneously. The garlic seed reels are installed on the garlic planter. Next, we have the Grime GL430. This is a four-row trailed potato planter with a three-ton hopper. It features a modular architecture that enables multiple equipment choices and soil preparation and planting combinations. Fertilizers, granulates, in furrow treatment, and liquid tuber dressing can also be used. The professional planting element from Grimm provides a precise and equal planting distance. The soil cultivator's variable frame allows optimal adaptation to specific soil conditions and it can be fitted with a cage roller or a shaped board. Up next, we have the Grim Onion Harvester. This harvesting machine can harvest onions, red beets, carrots, and other root crops. It can be equipped with different intake units that can be changed to suit varied harvesting circumstances. With a working width of 4.6 to 6.7 feet, the Grime Onion Harvester can separate the crop from the soil and foliage with little harm. The Grime Onion Harvester is one of the most adaptable trailed harvesters available for root crops, and it can boost onion farming efficiency and output.
Last but not least, we have the Grissy G Double Raw. It's a powerful and versatile harvester capable of handling a variety of crops. It has a 20-foot cutting width and a 14-ton receptacle capacity. The harvester is capable of 12 miles per hour and has a 132-gallon fuel reservoir. The Super G Double Raw has a hydraulic system, enabling the cutting height and row spacing to be adjusted. Additionally, the harvester can be equipped with a GPS that helps in-field navigation to optimize the harvesting process. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.